March the 3rd, 2021 it is. And I am about to submit to you more proofs about NKO drug case, due to which I have lost no less than 26 years of life. Uh, after pointing out more witnesses involved in this case, yes, I did manage to collect additional proofs, identify more people that were involved in MK Ultra case. I will concern on the main issue of this MK Ultra case. I don't know if this pertains to every case, but for me, the biggest deal about my MK Ultra case was loss of employment. Basically, I was blacklisted at on employment market on no less than two continents, on a Northern American continent and throughout the entire European continent. No, this was not only about denial of the right to apply for political asylum in several countries, such as Sweden, Norway, Belgium, Germany, Hungary, Ukraine, Belarus, and so on, Canada and so on. No, this is not it. This was about, at one point in time, within the very short period of time, basically between 2006 and 2010, 2011, declining me over 30,000 job applications I have submitted to potential employers. Basically, what exactly MKUltra was used for uh, on a job market, if you like. Now I am referring to anywhere from heavy financial losses, torture, ongoing torture, and the worst uh, I have even faced employment like a crown of everything that was done against me through which I was compelled to literally break my spine. Even that kind of stuff went on and trust me when I say this I eventually got away with cheap with the low cost. It could have been much much worse for me. Uh, it could have resulted in much worse consequences. I will talk to you about more about on this subject at the end of this video. But the first thing is first, let's go straight to the core issue. Number one, let me demonstrate to you how I have identified, well, more witnesses, more people, if you like, good. Uh, I don't even know how you say that in English. Summit. Cemeterians involved in the case, people that would come sort of to rescue, to help me out, to see if I remember, if I can identify them, and so on. Uh, in this case, a beautiful family from the you know, opposite side of Slovenia, where I am from, Škofja uh, Loka Gorenska. Let me demonstrate to you exactly what I am talking about. Something like this. I have transported, uh, used for transport, sometimes in 2006 upon return from the United States of America. And I have to tell you that financially, when you are talking about what you see right here, did cost me in a solid loss of about at least 1,000 euros, but this is just financially. While looking on a long run, this have left me with some psychological consequences. And at the end of this video, I will explain to you more about it. So this is the kind of jobs they would use 
um, you know it's not about just identifying what happened to you under MK Ultra here but they did this stuff in a such a disgusting way that more likely than not you would kind of probably even lost yourself in a lot of issues that would involve anywhere from anger uh, frustration you know financial struggle through financial struggle uh, actually really really disturbing stuff some of which I was not even capable to explain but I will I will go about it because now this is just another employer in a line of proofs I have managed to collect it's not about the Poland only where three employers were identified such as Fujitsu then a private cable company and the first company where I was compelled to literally break my spine to survive to get out of that uh, immigration camp if you remember uh, there's what, three companies in this case here in Slovenia we have now proof for one that's a Skofia Loka and as soon as I return to Slovenia there is another case that involves a local here um, board for self-employment oh, they have gone as far as not only organizing this stuff in at private employers but it would go as far as organizing in case you would like to self-employ yourself and they would have some funds available from European Union they even have that kind of stuff organized so that you would not manage to get through under any circumstance and I got to command uh, the people that are involved in this project who have eventually gave me also right here in Novo Mesto ability the chance to identify them too right through that um, if you like um, application procedure for self-employment yeah it was also that kind of stuff and I have now collection for this uh, for the Skofia local location I have now collection for the Novo Mesto they targeted all over the state and in Poland even other countries too uh, and even more so beautiful I also have something what is a little further up from Trebne which I already have submitted to you there was another employer before I even started to work in there I had managed to identify uh, along all those other employers then that actually makes it a chain of proofs and this literally to MK Ultra that I will use on a court of law to prove the point about here now this is what resulted in a 26 years loss of life 26 years uh, loss of 26 years of life in my case um, I would not even go at this point in time about what exactly uh, what what exactly have I gone through concerning other issues at the end of the video let's let's go step by step uh, first let's go to the proof for which I already have prepared prepared here Windows Movie Maker just like that extracted this audio recording it's look a little bit loud a little bit hard for me to hear but for those that speak Slovenian it won't be difficult I'm gonna post a separate audio um, I might eventually even include one at the end of the video and I'm gonna put one separately under this video so you can just have video completely separately original as it is it's amplified uh, like I said I walked with them for this 13 minutes and I was just lucky enough to get exactly what I needed to get um, 
because this is a really big one for me. Let's go. About, maybe about the video before I get into, this thing was recorded on a February the 24th, 2021. That's about a week ago. Um, yeah, well you get the original audio right here. Just like that. And I did manage to point out the location at this place in this 25,000 habitants area, Shkofia Loka, uh, location of the house of the gentleman's, uh, of the uh, husband's wife, as well as also location of his house. Uh, and in addition to that, I was also capable to uh, point out some renovation stuff and stuff like this which was quite amusing I think I kind of amused uh, a couple with ability to pull something I think they did not even anticipate it I would go just like that I had a long day that day and still I didn't miss this Well, I always start like this. Hi, how are you? Hi, they had a beautiful dog, and I did not even suspect uh, about who these people were. At first, I started to play with the dog, had a friendly conversation with them, and one thing led into another. Uh, they they allowed me to identify quite a few things. Hey, he's not gonna bite me, right? I say to them, uh, he says, uh, maybe he will. Uh, he, he most likely will not bite you, I said, he most likely will not bite you. He said, no, you did not hear this uh, well. No, he would most likely not, uh, not bite you, unless he would be upset. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wife says uh, you understood him not too well because he's from Gorenska region that's why he's got this accent well this accent is the same like from novel mest I, I don't have any kind of difficulty understanding that <laughs> No, that's already information that they are from Gorenska region. That's a really good one, but at this point in time, I have no idea who I am still talking to at all. Um, I am joking, and um, I ask uh, what kind of sex is this dog and they tell me it's a female and I say oh yeah don't worry about I tell her uh, it's usually that uh, the girls like uh, boys you know in that sense and they are laughing and says yeah they do <laughs> They like uh, girls, also like uh, boys too. The guy is joking. He says, "I like." He says, uh, "I like a uh, female dog uh, because it's more calm." I said, "Yeah, I like it too. It's more calm. They're more female dogs are more calm. Whatever." <laughs> Uh, he says, I'm pretty sure I tell him, uh, because he's a guy, I, I'm pretty sure that that does happen though. Uh, I tell him, I'm pretty sure that the dog also is more 
uh, tied to you. I'm pretty sure that this uh, that this this uh, female dog likes you more. They they probably like you more. And she says he says no 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 no. Uh, he actually likes her better. And I say ah I see. Yes, and three three violins. Uh, he says when uh, I come from the job, when I go to the job, when I come from the job, the goes, uh, the dog go past me like I don't even exist. He says, and I, I try to share with him something similar I had experience, but not like this. No, 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 not like this. My dog was not like that. He wouldn't see me. It was exactly the opposite, but really, uh, taking dog out in the morning and in uh, after the lunch and in the evening, it's something I haven't done when I got that dog first in U.S. and my ex-wife did, and based on that experience, that female dog, just like in his case, also was tied to her more than to me so it's a, a kind of equivalent to the time you, you're gonna spend outside uh, it's pretty much the way I see I'm trying to share with him uh, how dog is gonna see you and the early beginnings dogs never forget who was the one that was the first one that took initiative to take them out and this and that they remember this forever um, the dog, the dog, this is some kind of poodle, something like this is a very nice, very kind dog, uh, just running along us, they're rushing, really, the whole thing is going fast, we're going fast at this point. Uh, so I say, and you are from Gorensk, I say, huh? I want to know a little bit, you know, gradually, systematically, I want to learn a little bit more about this beautiful family. And he says, yeah. Uh, and he tells me, I am from Shkofia Loka. I say, oh, Shkofia Loka, I see, I see. Uh, the daughter moved to Aratesh. Uh, this is why we're here. We're visiting the daughter. I say, oh, well. Uh, now, that's already a really beautiful information right there. The daughter uh, who moved to Ratish and a papa who is Gorenska region, man original from Shkofia Loka. That's a whole lot of information to me right now, just a little bit more, and we're going to be right there. Okay, I have no idea what I told her, but I am trying to kind of insist, at least for the wife, because the wife, she looks like somebody right here from Novo Mesta region. She is like... Uh, very different from him. Um, let me explain a little bit. Like uh, uh, a physical characteristics, his physical characteristics are different than her physical characteristics. She is 
a little bit more like typical here from Dolenska region, something like this. And he is like facially like kind of looking like, uh, you know, I would say like Polish, Czech, something like this uh, from up north. And so the thing is, I'm wrong here. They both are from Skofia Loga. Now we have, aha, I already know who these people are. And I am absolutely positive. Now, tick tock, tick tock, tick. I have no more than 10 minutes. Not only to come up with a solution, but to confront and find out. So I don't have much time at all. We, we keep walking and this is going to make all the difference for me in this world at this point in time. This is extremely important one. Uh, one more time we're going to do that. I like his laughter, he's really happy. Uh, yeah, yeah, you mistaken that with someone, uh, something like that, in that sense. Um, I'm gonna put it this way. It's something they wouldn't want me to do this, because of other things. Uh, but this gentleman, once he got involved into this case, he had a real problems. He had a real problems, unfortunately, this is the way it is in Slovenia, because of his physical looks. Unfortunately, through the politic which arrived from Serbia, uh, a really, really severe division of the society commenced in Slovenia. And the worst part about this is that we had people in Slovenia that contributed greatly to that. I don't like to discuss about these things, but I have to say up front that discrimination, division within the Slovenian society exists. And the people I personally had met during MK Ultra here in Slovenia, the people that were associated with a Chetic movement from Serbia, in my personal opinion, did not defer from those that entered the country in 1940 uh, under the leadership of Adolf Hitler. That's basically from the German side. I didn't like that even a little bit. Uh, in this case, we have a gentleman that looks more or less like myself, and we have a wife that kind of looks like, I don't even know how I would say it, like she would like she's actually original slovenian well we we come in all shapes and sizes i mean some are like this some are like that uh she just looked like that uh he could be i and you know she could be someone i don't know i'm gonna met or something like this marry have kids but the people who came here to slovenia they came with a completely wrong intentions and they found support here for the stuff they should not push the nose into the laughter that you heard from the gentleman it's got much much deeper origins eventually because of his involvement into my case because he was trying to help me out because of maybe also my foolishness because i did trigger a problems i'm going to explain in continuation for the people who were trying to help me out uh it was all kinds of stuff that went on but really 
the one who used this case was the one who engaged in war against Bosnian people, against Croatian people, actively so, uh, with as much as violence as circumstances permitted. And it's the same one that actively engaged in war against Ukrainian people in Donetsk and in Crimea. That is exactly, exactly the one. There is no second one in between and that one needed all the hatred they possibly could obtain to convince not only their side there is such thing like evil uh, but also even infiltrate the other side where they were trying to suggest uh, that we have eventually more common than what they were creating and in, uh, just as I already have explained, Belgrade and Moscow were not creating anything other than a hatred. It was all about hate, 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 hate. Uh, in his case, in his scenario, this gentleman was deeply investigated. Most of the people were. They were trying to even set him up with another female that would look more like you know with like lighter complexion DNA what would consequently brought to destruction of entire family I believe but because this man was just and is a really honest great family oriented individual without absolutely any kind of back plans, hidden agendas if you like he loves his wife dearly and his daughter, this is what means to him that's what his entire life is to him uh, Mr. Borat Pahor just couldn't prove for Mr. Vucic they were both trying to prove that something would be wrong with him so uh, regardless of how much they tried to set him up they couldn't they too failed on that test so let's continue with that stuff look i remember about the stuff that went on and the stuff that went on i'm gonna say i deeply disagree uh this is not how it's done especially when considering the politicians who were having i i have respect for them i'm just gonna say ladies uh, all kinds of ladies on the side you know whether that be a Poland or Serbia or Slovenia or whatever they went uh, it was a happy one wherever it would be wherever they would go that's pretty much the stuff they would do and these were the kind of people that would even go and take upon themselves jobs such as judging other people on their lives, on their views and stuff like this so they could boost their political uh, agenda which I already have explained. Uh, I am trying to say discriminated. I, I, I mean this man was discriminated against. From my perspective, from my point of view, this is not how you treat a citizen in a country you don't in his own country you don't subject people to this type of practices this is criminal from my point of view uh, this is not the way it works this is a free society and it's got to function as such it's got to be welcoming for every person with different backgrounds from whatever they are as a free society that's why this is like the main thing that separates us from Belgrade, from Moscow. Uh, so I say from Ratish, right? Ratish, yeah. It was already a lot of talk about the Ratish. Okay. So in a little bit they told me uh, she met a boyfriend and this boyfriend is 32 years old.
Uh, the daughter is younger. This is a beautiful younger daughter. Uh, I know her very well. In a little bit, I will explain how, why I know her very well. Um, but I am a little bit surprised because, you know, she looks so young. She's pretty, really young, and I'm thinking a lot of things right now uh, without any doubts. You can feel me already that. I am completely knowing who these people are. This is not a coincidence. I know exactly, like, completely standing on a solid ground about who this family is. I am getting ready at this point in time eventually to confront them in a way that would offer me ability to use this audio recording as a proof of previous, uh, you know, meetings basically knowing each other from the past from MK Ultra uh, maybe I step a little bit in the wrong foot <laughs> here right now uh, the most negative person in Ashkofia Loka and it's also something that gave me a really really negative impression uh, about what went on over there was exactly this employer Habian and I will get to that stuff uh, but and they're precisely happy my way asking about that kind of stuff uh, the man, this Habian transport, this individual, that owner who was involved in this thing eventually at one point in time, uh, after the employment with him ended in 2006, and he wanted to approach again, they basically told him, the people in Shkofeloka, they told him to fuck off, to keep clear, to stay away from it basically they told him for you in this case here no more yeah yeah they tell yeah yeah he's got trucks in Shkofe Loka in this region of 25,000 as gentleman tells me I'm not gonna say that the entire 25,000 people were involved in this stuff but boy as you're about to see the whole city and vicinity areas and so on in a little bit I will explain <laughs> Yeah, what happened was in 2006, I did work for this employer for about three weeks. That means that I would come all together probably about three times to his place, park the car, board the truck, and head from his location to Austria and then Germany. Uh, deliver over there wherever it was back and forth now oh, that's pretty much what it was yeah after three weeks it was over Yeah, 
I tell them in Novo Mesto here in this beautiful river as we go along uh, I said it's gonna be almost time to go for a swim eventually I told them it's uh, already it's so beautiful the river right now and tell them and you also have a soda over there uh, a river over there and he tells me yeah it's a soda it's a beautiful river it's a really beautiful river too <laughs> I don't know what he told me he was today doing exactly I'm not sure maybe maybe they were walking or something like that Um, I don't even know what exactly uh, what the gentleman here was talking about because of this walk this is gonna be all submitted like I stated at the end of the video uh, whatever it is uh, I think it was something about uh, probably they're traveling to Novo Mesto or something that uh, far I don't know, was he talking to me about maybe even a fuel conversion on his car that is on a gas or something like this? Maybe I have no idea. Whatever it was, uh, I did not understood this very well. And I don't really uh, pay attention to that kind of stuff or whatever it is. Now, uh, since I am absolutely positive, yeah, uh, I pictured exactly already a house from the wife. I can see the street, I can see the house, I can see the old one next to it, I can see exactly where she's from. Um, I see the new house over there, how the two moved, built this house. I remind myself of a beautiful wife. <laughs> As beautiful wife, one time I was in love with. It was the year 1995 and she was, and so I was too. Uh, now you're talking about sixteen years younger than today. Shkofia Loka, you see, just happens to be the first location uh, we started. Actually, I'm so mistaken. Twenty six years younger than today. Shkofia Loka is where everything started the first. They were trying because I oh, look I'm from Novo Mesto but this entire operation in Slovenia actually the one who handled my case the one who handled my case entirely completely was Ljubljana is psychiatric hospital and that's why this video is also so since it is so important because in continuation i'm going to demonstrate to you who pretty much everybody from ljubljana psychiatric hospital was involved in this stuff 
In 1995, you see, the Ljubljana Psychiatric Hospital did not even have an idea about what exactly MK Ultra is like. They did not, they, they did, I'm sure, from their readings and from the stuff, but it never ever come across actual case they would have to handle. I just happened to be the first one in Slovenia, the first case, MK Ultra case that was, well, pushed right into their hands with handle it, whichever way you know. Uh, basically, like you would take a booklet, and in this booklet would be written uh, pretty much this is the drug you're going to use, uh, you're going to give this so many and so many, and uh, you do this and this and this with him, and so on and so forth. Your job is to uh, maybe uh, make him remember certain stuff and so on. And that's all there was. When it all started in 1995, we, because few of the psychiatrists and the number one man who was like completely in love with this region, he is from, I think, Shkofe Loka. It might not even be from Shkofe Loka. I think he's not exactly from Shkofe Loka. It could be. I already have one location. But anyways, was Mr. Vinko. And this was the guy that was like, I could say concerning MK Ultra, this man was really like my father. And very much, I would say, like my real father, like very much, I would say, he wouldn't even come to me up to today. Today, I learned tremendously, tremendously, tremendously. Actually, yesterday, I started to, you know, I, this video, and I decided I'm going to go about this one. How much this man invested effort to help me out, um, I would say probably more important to me is a fact I acknowledge that he started to grow a gray hair because of me. Uh, this is just a really, how can I explain, honorable man who was... This is just a good person that basically... Um, Maybe in the best way for me to explain would be that he saw me like a part of the family. Um, like, in a sense, the way they see each other in this psychiatric hospital. And I'm talking about the staff people, like psychiatrists, physicians, and so on and so forth. He, they started to see me like part of the team, like part of them. Uh, why? Would that be the case? Well, that was the case because, like I said, we started in the old portion of the city, in a center, in a real center of the Shkofe Loka, and they wouldn't have an idea about how to handle this case. So to get an idea, and one of the first people who, who um, initiated that in 1997 was actually even Mrs. Andrea Yeric. She was involved earlier than what I believed along few beautiful young people to professionals if you want help professionals the nurse that would come to visit me here that would pay me visitations here at home she might have been the first or maybe even the second subject test subject who self subject herself to this type of treatment therefore to mk ultra so that she could learn what is it exactly, what it exactly, what it like feels like to be subjected to MK Ultra. Then gradually, after her and after another two young men that they just tried out this thing, they all started to try out. So I was like some kind of member of this psychiatric club. Uh, this is kind of a strange, right? But these people were in charge in helping me out in a very, very different forum, form from what you would refer to as patients. Their idea was to create me in a self-conscious, basically a map in my head about what went on in Slovenia or at least certain 
locations over time over the course of the time so that one day when I will return or whatever the case might be because I didn't believe in that I didn't believe in that shit anyways right <laughs> my plan was easy uh, a simple I hope that I would drive them eventually crazy that much unfortunately that's that was the most primitive but it usually works that kind of stuff if you if you do it uh, it almost any place at any time it just this time it didn't work uh, drive them crazy you know without creating all kinds of problems for long enough so that they would say hey man uh, we really don't need this trouble just just move on leave us alone in that sense but it didn't work after realizing what exactly MK Ultra feels like and the type of the stuff that would be beneficial to me we would move into the area of where this gentleman is eventually from and he's about 15 minutes away from the city away from his spouse so I just wanted to give you a precise idea about how things were developing uh, in what direction why and how right in that sense mr. Vinko was just um, how can I say um, he kind of uh, he did, I'm sure that was not his intention but over the course of the time I think that I became like his son or something like this in his head seriously concerned worried uh, increasingly even more so because things would not move in the right direction no matter what like I said I had the plan of my own and no matter what I would try to do there was just no way out other than to do it what I'm doing today and that's basically 26 years later folks and so I go to the issue of the wife and I say your wife is from the Shkofia Loka, I mean, but really from Shkofia Loka, from the city, from the center of the city is what I'm trying to tell him. So this is the first shot I make in order to collect proofs that I do know them. This is the first statement that I make. Your wife is from the center of the city. I mean, she is born from there, is what I say. She is originally from there. Your wife is from Shkofia Loka, but from the center of the city, I tell you. Your wife. Now he is shaking when I tell this. He's like, yeah. And he says, yes. And I say, but from the city, I, I tell him, do you understand me? From like city center from the city he is from the house if I'm not mistaken right he says yes and lives uh, close to the center well this is the house that you see right there um, this is the house I already have identified everything. Uh, we did go apart later on. Now they wouldn't give me their family name or anything like this, which is the best thing for me that happened. Even that I was actually even hoped for, I was gonna go and add them at the Facebook or something like that. Then I realized this actually is good that we went apart just like that, you know. Uh, they wouldn't give me their names anything like this but hey what you see right here on the right side eventually this is her old home that barn all this property here that you see this is the property where she is from actually and the home that you see right here this is the home that she and hobby built together just it, it was not in 2002 uh, as I stated but uh, it was done according to the husband like in 91 right in 91 
so that we are talking about like well 30 something years ago um, that was a big miss uh, but not really in a sense because what you see up there the terrace that is covered with a wood and all that kind of stuff as I'm very precise about it I explain this in continuation uh, I say either the house was built in 2002 2001 um, or you have done actually 2002 or you have done uh, like a major how would I explain this like a major um, upgrade you know uh, now that you would um, renovate one basically you see that roof that you see that roof the wood the first one who had that kind of roof was eventually they were my parents in the city of the novel master now these people i'm talking with right now these people paid visitations to our house and this gentleman told me um the house is going to be really easy also for you to identify once you go for it is and you do know at the location and you know exactly because i was here many times too um because i kind of imitated your father and i did exactly that kind of stuff too on the terrace i also covered the terrace with a wood like that so that this is already i already pointed out her location correct Sh that she has a house correct uh and just let's go forward because I have not made a single miss yet. Uh, I, I tell him this is a small city, Shkofia Loka, he tells me, well, the, yeah, he said, but still there's like a 25,000 uh, inhabitants in the area. I mean, 25,000 is a lot. This isn't so small, actually. So he kind of gives me a compliment, actually. I'm right now at this point collecting my mind collecting my thoughts together because I'm about to go next to identify him his location if I would only accomplish this and I did more than just that then this will be absolutely absolutely my identifying you see I could say that she is from apartment uh, that she lives somewhere else but not in the center and so on but now it's time also uh, to identify him just like I have identified her. now what's going on <laughs> I, we are walking and I'm like quiet and my brain right now is just spinning uh, at this point I am locating him uh, all the way to 1995 that's about 26 years backwards uh, 25 years backwards into time when I was drugged up brought from United States of America because you see I supposedly was not in a Europe anywhere in between 1994 and the 1994 and May the 2006 that's about 11 and a half years of time yet like I've stated 
I know about almost everything that went on construction businesses wise and stuff where they built and so on and it's really thanks to psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje for which by the way I really grew more respect as of this case this really I have to admit uh, it did map them on a much more positive uh, light uh, as far as myself this you see I am honest I rate exactly I'm trying to understand exactly about what went on how this and that and uh, I must say this is a very very positive case for them this is a really really the most positive case for them this is the case that actually demonstrated me like so many of these psychiatrists involved in the case with best intentions possible but unfortunately the political process took a very very wrong term uh, you see the psychiatry and how can I say my goals uh, you see uh, it intersects in I'm gonna say it's it it works in a contrast to a life we strive toward to uh, in, a, in a totally opposite direction it's a conflicting job in this kind of circumstances which could be used uh, as something positive or really really negative it all depended and like I said it did turn into the worst direction possible not only for me but also for the employees at psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia I believe nobody really enjoyed the stuff they had to do politics was just too deep in it Okay, let's go to the map. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna go to the Shkofia Loka. And uh, the shot I have made, basically to summarize this, I told him, you are not in the center of the city, right? You, from her location, okay, if you go to her location, and her location about here somewhere, something like this, see this thing here? You are about like a kilometer and a half away from her home. See, like when you see this here, this church here, you are about like a kilometer and a half away from her, and if I can properly recall, you're not from the center of the city, you're from the village, and uh, you are actually from some kind of farm, something like that. You're like a farm boy. And so if you would take the meter in, your ha in my hands, it would be like 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, um, 700, 800, 900, 1000, something like that. And yeah, then it would be like 1001, uh, 1213. 
1500 it would not be enough still it would not be enough and I realized probably one and a half kilometer it's just I said to myself man this is not gonna be enough one one and a half kilometer but you probably are very close to yeah actually just about yeah something like this because this would be like the place this here is minutes so therefore like almost like a two kilometers something like this this is where you would eventually turn toward his place and yeah the man is from the farm just like i have stated and i correct the statement from one and a half kilometer to 15 minutes right i said fit but no 15 minutes you are away from her location okay and in a little bit i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna dedicate myself to that how about demonstrate to you uh, exactly what his location is okay so we have a Shkofia Loka this that now the gentleman is really impressed with it he is shocked he is saying already something that he would go and take a camera I don't know take a picture of me if I can do something like this he said that this under MK Ultra he would do and that's what he starts to talk about so now I have identified that he's about 15 minutes away from her uh, just about to say that too uh, and from the farm so what else do you want when you want to go identify somebody this is like a 100 percent hit zero miss 100 percent hit zero miss beautiful job you are we stop now and I confront him more I, I tell him you are outside from the Shkofia Loka you are not from the Shkofia Loka originally he says he says to me already 40 years and you can hear him how he is laughing just listen to this how he is laughing okay 1995 uh, dear ladies and gentlemen this is why I got so many times upset with you she and he just happened to be one of those first people who pulled my nose under MK Ultra. Welcome to MK Ultra. Uh, that's where we play with your personal feelings. You know, it's like I've written toy. You are like a toy. Nothing in a negative sense in respect to this guy. He is laughing kind of a little bit, a little bit evil. He's laughing. Okay, but w what it is is that I actually have fallen for his old lady. Yeah, in '95, under MK Ultra, you don't know. You have no feeling who is how old is. You know, the lady is might not be so old, got some makeup and this, and you are completely uh, taken over by her beauty and this and that. Uh, this one was really good looking. Uh, 26 years back in time. Uh, she pulled my nose that she's interested in me and she flirted with me over there and I was I got excited boy I was like oh wow you know uh, here we have a lady and this this was the first flirter she in Shkofia Loka and boy I told myself I was very interested you know and then it was this story that would probably I, I stated it was about 1500 people inside of this room from all over the world they would come no, 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 when I, when I just think about how many couples were involved in this stuff, so many, eventually, including her daughter, tied the hands together, they were happy to participate, to see me, because I was like, some kind of a fortune cookie, some kind of a fortune, 
either economical or people would get married oftentimes they got married they met they tied their knots uh, many of them would have children and so on and this is just a couple like this correct um, and then the dude appeared in the th uh, somewhere in the picture, along the picture that... Uh, and, and the worst part about this, that the, 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 the ladies, they would tease you and they would tell you, like... They wouldn't even tell you, hey, I'm already married or something like that. Ah, <laughs> that would be too beautiful. They would go and they would slowly take you piece by piece and... Yeah, you know, but you know, this is already another man interested in me and I am in between and I am thinking between you and him and this and that. And then all of a sudden you see this ugly dude coming on a picture and uh, and that's it, goodbye. I don't mean that he's ugly, of course he's not, he's a good looking guy. But it was always like this it, it, this was not once it was not ten times it was not even a hundred times man it was hundreds of times as sometimes most of the time uh, ladies would eventually get married with a guy they were not married yet most of the time they would eventually really meet guys through this case literally and just as I have stated, that was the case with her daughter. This is how she came with them to the novel mesto and met a gentleman from the Ratish. Aratish, just as I have stated, is in a very close proximity of from where I am. That's about, I don't know, six kilometers from here, something like that. Uh, they intersected, uh, started to talk literally through this case. And before you know, she's already staying here in our master. Before you know, they're gonna have kids. This this story repeated God knows how many times to everybody, except not to me. And uh, not that I would know of, even that the Czech guy told me in Bohemian, in a, in an old Bohemian in the Czech Republic, that the possibility exists, just as I already have explained that several years ago that only God knows how many children maybe I already have, just that I don't know of. There is such a thing. It's a possibility because of all kinds of stuff that happened. Not that I would have control over. Uh, and so, there you have it. So he gives me 100%, he confirms that he's about 15 minutes away, uh, not like she, unlike her, who is in the city, he's about 15 minutes away, out of the city, and really from the farm, just as I have stated. Yeah. So you have 100% identified both of them. Now I want a little bit more of it. Uh, the truth is that the two are married for years but the thing about it is that uh, you see i already picture this home that i demonstrated uh this old like barn that you see in this property on the right and i know exactly which household she's from and this and that and i want some more i know about this new house that he built and so on so now the next step i'm trying to get is i'm trying to get this about the house that was built in 2002 but that he's gonna tell me no man this was built in 91. oh that i missed big time that was like four years before I appeared in Shkofeloka ever uh, when brought from the United States of America that one I did got wrong uh, but still what he did not admit me is the part which I stated is about upgrade about the balcony about the uh, the covered balcony and stuff like that uh, that's the stuff that he would not admit me, but if I would ask him about that stuff, I bet he would. Man, uh, 
that's his house. Uh, that's his house, basically, and her house. Now, uh, I am also gonna demonstrate uh, this location where it is, how the two met, and I'm gonna demonstrate uh, his farm, where he is from. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do, let me demonstrate to you, uh, thanks to Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Polje, but foremost to Mr. Vinko, I'm just gonna go ahead about and point you out the knowledge about this entire area. Now I'm not talking about the city, only this, this city here. We could go and we could do that stuff, but yeah, this takes time, every one of these locations that you go through, it, it absorbs time. I don't like doing that kind of stuff. Today already when I went, I instead of that have chosen a few very, very tricky ones. You see these mountains here? You see these forests here? Vinko, Mr. Vinko would have me all over this place. Not only on this side, but also here on this side too. All this, he would have me walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, just wanted me, just wanted so to help me very much. And um, yeah, he loved this place, this, 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 this region, this place. Uh, it wasn't only him, it was also a few other people from Psychiatric Hospital in Ganapoli that are from this region. You see, this is Gorenska region. And I would acknowledge one as a northwestern region of Slovenia. Uh, they too are from this area, you know, from like northwest of uh, Ljubljana. And so they were motivated. Everybody wanted to promote his own place first. It was like this also in Ukraine when I was with Ukrainian people. Um, it was everywhere you would go, or in Russia, or in Poland, or wherever you would go. Uh, every person that was involved in it, everybody wanted to bring me uh, to his city, to wherever he is from, so that the business people, uh, big industrialists, they would find their way uh, with investments, with industry, with technology, therefore, uh, would bring prosperity into, into you know, their homes into their into their areas wherever they were from right so that's how we're going to do it but the first thing i want to do it's first i want to finish this audio recording uh there are about three minutes left and then we're going to go to other stuff as i stated for me to demonstrate you much more than just uh you know knowledge about this to people this isn't about just uh, this beautiful family i met uh, this isn't about uh, Habian either, uh, my previous employer here uh, from Skofia Loka, but this is about much, 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 much more. This is about entire community here from this Gorenska region. This is about the Skofia Loka, uh, and it also concerns here Kran, everybody here, all this. God knows just how many people was involved in this, uh, but pretty much when we are talking about this but almost every house that you see right here on the map basically they all knew about it i had <laughs> mk ultra this is a strange thing no idea that so many people knew about me yeah. Now I know that this uphill, this and that, but I this I did not point it out well. This this I'm still in my head. I I am not exactly now geographically. I am, but it's kind of confusing to exactly that you would go just now and say geographically where you turn and this and that. Especially because to his place there are two ways we would come. Uh, no, there is no such thing like you can turn left or right. Mostly, you would be exactly opposite to what I stated. I stated him you would turn right. No, actually you turn left, and this is really, really, really confusing. 
you know why it's confusing it's confusing because of this thing here if this is a Schofia Loka if this is a Schofia Loka and this is a Schofia Loka um, and this here this is his minutes to him you will turn here but how the hell are you gonna remember this from MKR Trek where as well as could be also to this side I was also all over this heels too so now I know it's uphill, I know what it looks like, I know there are plums, they have a lot, a lot of plums, I know there's a beautiful yard with the grass. Uh, I have this old uh, farm house and so on idea exactly what the hell it looks like. But you know, it's steep on this side and it's also steep on this side and in this case this is just not the case you turn instead left you go when you go from Shkofia Loka you have to turn left and go this way uh, not as I projected that way but yeah the thing is I was on both sides that's okay because once I had it home I knew immediately very much where exactly he is from and this is yet another benefit here for me to disperse doubts about whether I know these people from the past or not. This I don't even understand what he's saying. This I don't, I don't know what, what the German is saying. Okay, this is like a rock and roll, this thing here. Actually, you know, if you would go and if you would look at his new home he built with his wife and everybody started uh, his daughter and uh, his wife, they're both laughing at this point. They, they cannot believe the stuff I am talking about. It's like kind of shocking actually right now that I started to describe the way their home looks like and uh, I'm doing really well at this point now if we go to this home here and we look at this home here tell me now how old is this home what the hell this home looks like to you is this home looks to you like was built in 91 or does it look like more to you it was built in 2002 well whether you like that or not I can get probably over 90% of the people that would say to me it looks like this home was built in and I don't even say this home was built in 2002 I say either was built in 2002 as it is audio recorded either was built in 2002 or it was um, upgraded you know uh, painted uh, added features uh, that kind of stuff in 2002 you see look at it I in fact am 100% correct uh, he however right now is in shock uh, he is in shock he is like at this point in time he is like this is already kind of maybe even dangerous because you at this point in time the way things are going 
you can't even say to me, you can't even object to me and say no right now. Uh, actually, what he did, well, he could have admitted this, that home was eventually um, upgraded, you know, that beautified or whatever you want to say in 2004, right? 2005 and he says this and briefly he says 15 years ago but then he changes the story back no it was built in 91 he doesn't want to give the whole thing but he wants me to find his home and basically point one to you like this so you can see that the roof the wording and stuff like this is the same as it is in our house here in Novo Mesto and my father did the same thing on a terrace like he did this thing here so that's why basically that's how uh, I identify absolutely everything not only that the two have house uh, but that this house is like a newer house okay so you can't go past this I was gonna start talking about taking picture of me if I'm gonna go I don't know in the river or something like that joking or whatever uh, he says that I mistaken myself for uh, 15 years. I don't know what exactly he means this for 15 years that uh, either was built in 91 or that it was... Um, how do you say that? It's with R... Uh, in Slovenia we say adaptatio or whatever, but... Uh, he says, uh, he says, uh, please do not resent me, but this is the way it is, uh, in 91, uh, and let me not forget my telephone, uh, to take a photo of you. And he's going to now change uh, if you're going to go in the water to swim. But he told me under MK Ultra that if you can do what I just did it right now, that he would say something like that because this is like congratulations, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he says we're going to put you to the YouTube just like the guy who was, I don't know, doing what in his. Uh, wardrobe, swimming wardrobe or whatever, in that sense, joking. <laughs> okay, we have a fun. Uh, I tell him, now you can actually go and swim in a Kirka River, it's fun. I did swim a whole winter long, uh, it's nothing so terrible, you can do that. He says, when? Now? He says, yeah, I did swim the winter time. You can, we can do that. This, this is not so terrible. So we had fun. Everybody was laughing. Uh, and I just did this damn and damn and well. This portion of the video, therefore, it's gonna complete for me as far as obtaining more proofs about MK Ultra. okay I do want to thank to this family very much let me just finish this recording I want to thank I tell them family thank you very much to you uh, i don't know what your last name is again the idea was to add them on the facebook but this isn't exactly that best idea this is political stuff i do 
Uh, this people already. This people already have had problems because of this case. They, this people already came like under microscope. For all the witnesses, for all the people who participated in MK Ultra, let me explain to you something. Not like this is a whole freaking big file of the people, dots, that would come and which I would have a chance to identify, whether I would identify, trust me. Nobody was like this that I would not identify. Uh, sometimes I didn't feel even like I want to identify. Uh, you know, um, it's all kinds of stuff. And maybe it's the knowledge I'm going to even share with the people why, how to overcome this, but it's all kinds of stuff that uh, I have considered, uh, saw the case from different angles and so on. Yeah, even for the people that you would give them a complete background and they wouldn't go through anything, they would still have a tremendous difficulty to understand this whole thing, even if you would explain them. And really, nobody during MK Ultra gave me idea of any kind about what this thing is going to be about and how this thing is going to work. Um, so that's that. Now if I summarize, finish this completely, we go apart. My name is Bustian Alsis, as you know. He, they tell me their names, first names only, but no last name whatsoever. And promise me to come back to Novel Mesta, where I definitely welcome them. Uh, this is a really, really beautiful, beautiful family. As beautiful as it gets, family. So, I'm going to move myself away and I'll take you through the area a little bit so you get an idea. A broader knowledge about, uh, basically, about this. Škofja Loka first. Okay, for the sticker We go apart, just a beautiful uh, family. I, I do want to thank you very much for this. Very, very much, in fact. Heh, yesterday, imagine. For the third time, I forgot to click resume uh, button after applying pause button and so this one really took a good bite of me but you know for all the good reasons always here let's go immediately to this house and I will correct now completely the owner of this house uh, because I think probably over the course of the time uh, he had probably forgotten about his own house. So I'm going to make it up for yesterday immediately. That's basically if a Google Maps is going to give me a chance to use it. There you go. Boom. I'm back. Okay, I have not seen any of this yet. I have not seen any of this yet. Okay, uh, let's go and let's do this thing again like this. I really have not seen any of this yet. The house. Okay, let me correct you, the owner of this house, sir. With your uh, permission, it's like this. You have incorporated what you see here in the back. You see this building in the back here? He incorporated a portion of this thing here into the house. Maybe it is actually this line here that you see even significating something like this. I'm going to be completely, completely, completely specific on the construction of this house. Yeah, this is what happens when I go uh, sleep and then I wake up and then I start to want to wish for more. This pillars here, this balcony here that you see here. Ladies and gentlemen, 
this is the stuff he added he started to add it uh, slowly he wouldn't admit that kind of stuff and now he probably misunderstood me even in Slovenian language there's no such word there's no such word like um, rebuilt and remodeled these are in English language two different words but in Slovenian we don't actually have one is adaptacja and druga je potem um, and I hope nova adaptacja uh, druga pa je potem novogradnja oziroma uh, lahko je tudi obnova uh, v bistvu uh, it's like this he started to build this wow he started to build this balcony how about this sometimes like in 2001 2002 2003 it took him like three years it was like really really slow at least two years before he completed this balcony alone without what you see up there is this thing here this is what he chose as the last thing to do this thing to add these features this wood features that you see right here yeah i don't know exactly what did uh, google meant with that dark picture that you have seen that black picture to me it looks all sunny today i made a big mistake uh pausing that thing but it did happen for all the good reasons so the owner now he did not forgot he just wanted me to remind myself so i would have more proofs about it don't worry about it this guy loves me um he wouldn't lie he wouldn't do this he wouldn't do that he just wanted me to be so technical so brutally brutally technical like this and so that you know that i have a really really deep knowledge about this stuff this is not a play this is not a game this is a serious stuff and as you see i do remember he did complete this with a wooden portion of this balcony after he added the balcony with those pillars that you see um sometimes i believe really sometimes i estimate sometimes like in 2004 2005 something like this i would say okay so now since i have done such an outstanding job ladies and gentlemen let me explain to you let me demonstrate to you what else exactly do i know about the Shkofia loka and really everything i know about the Shkofia loka and surrounding area is thanks to psychiatric hospital ljubljana polje so let's go on this excursion now and so you'll be the judge whether i do know what i'm talking about or i'm some kind of bluff or something like that let's go Therefore, if this is where his wife is from, uh, the kids from entire area, you know, not only from Zmin, it's not only from this place here, uh, but from this entire area of Shkofe Loka, it could be also Zabnica and uh, uh, Shkofe Loka alone or Zelezniko, or whatever it was, um, they would look for their future spouses partners wherever you want to say uh on a different occasions uh for this kids from this area here from this minutes from bodolia and stuff uh the thing to meet some girls was just as he explained to me how it, it all happened uh it was around here in this fujinska ulica right here this was like like a center locations they would they would come um, to meet with one another go around here this romantic whatever 
uh, it kind of looks and that's basically how they would get to know one another now what's really interesting is before I go about general knowledge that I have in addition to what I have demonstrated about the family to you right now uh, it would be the most important for me to just go to his location where he would be uh, where his where his farm where basically the place where uh, he would be from right you know, just as I have pointed 15 minutes away from her this is direction of the Shkofia Loka uh, if you would come from the city and then you would go to his farm to the place where he is from and I am pretty damn sure I would not actually even go and waste my time you know, I'm gonna say on I'm gonna say absolutely any stuff uh, yeah they brainwashed me due to this political garbage with all kinds of stuff that he's over there um, all kinds of stuff you only possibly you can imagine I mean just completely unimaginable stuff hey okay uh, then they that he is here in this this is actually very dangerous theory this one here because this this in the background eventually that one offers uh, a trees here and I cannot reach out beyond Google it would not allow me to go inside here and roam this area in the back here um, so that's why that's dangerous but not really because I remember even you might be really really surprised thanks to this girl here that you see yeah this girl here that you see um, this beautiful girl is from one of these homes here um, like maybe two homes inside here you would go she's from this area right here this she's a native here she's here since from forever I wish her so much the best that you have no idea I there's nothing I wouldn't do for the people like this she was eventually even interested in me at one point in time it's about my age probably 45 between 45 and 50 she he's she's got a brothers uh, and that's the kind of stuff that actually moved me this is from like I'm not gonna say poor family but with not such a wealthy background as many uh, but a really the best soul one can possibly find I remember you very well that's the kind of stuff that actually touches me uh, somebody that uh, came in my face and was uh, a, 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 a little girl of some kind of daddy that was I don't know who and just because like that and or my daddy is such and such that's like the lowest the worst that possibly could step in front of me this here this is his place and I know so because of this beautiful trees in a big way I know so because of this here if I step a little bit like this because of this heel here and then it tops with this one here with this house here the old house and even the newer house uh, which his brother built he also sold portion of his property uh, to the brother but I think he still have some piece of land something here this here these are I think in English you say plumps um, in Slovenian these are Česplje but they are original they are just universal to the hilly areas to the areas that are not so much this hospital right here many of them are from Gorenska region Many 
of them are from Gorenska region. I, my view on this hospital now, it's uh, it's kinder. Okay, I, 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 through this video, I managed to heal myself tremendously a lot because I really started to understand more about exactly what went on because uh, some psychiatrists acted really idiotic I have to tell you like that some of them acted like really really idiotic uh, but I wouldn't concentrate on those uh, or maybe in certain times act idiotic maybe out of revenge maybe out of whatever frustration whatever the case might have been well others did definitely make it up for it um with a good deeds and when it comes to good deeds there is this man vinko yeah um who was employed he's not a psychiatrist but he has like a university degree works along the psychiatrist and so it's a guy that was used like uh, some kind of uh, individual that would help with assignments like work assignments something that would get uh, patients people that were admitted to the psychiatry uh, entertain um, so that that he would um, employ them somehow their time also with some activities something like that so he was like a guy that was kind of in charge for releasing trauma you know in, in people that they would might be experienced because of this location itself this is not exactly a, 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 a place with some um, from the past some kind of good reputation and this was actually very very uh, hospital with a very very bad reputation during Yugoslavia this hospital uh, the only thing you could do is you could really really not want to come in here because if you did come in here that probably meant that you are dead I mean that this place here I don't mean to scare anybody really uh, at psychiatric hospital Ljubljana uh, but for your knowledge, they, the people here at this place, they would burn their brain, literally. It was ECT, it was all kinds of stuff that went on uh, before this place went inside of the European Union. And, and during Yugoslavia, this, the only thing you could do is you could pray that you would not get in here. Because if you got in here, you were in a real, real, real trouble. Real trouble. So this does have roots in this, huh, how can I say, it does have roots in this element already from the past. Psychiatric University, they call it uh, Hospital uh, Ljubljana Polje. Now what this man Vinko did for me is just something incredible. Uh, because of what this guy did, Vinko, um, it made me feel like just by going over this stuff that I, it was like I had actually a father during Amkiotra, and I mean it. He was like, not my biological father, but someone else out there that, well, when he would come he loved nothing more in this world than this Gorenska region. And that's, like I said, the business in 95, he and many other of his associates of Gorenska, they wanted to bring this business people as much as possible to the Shkofeloka, to this area. Khan, Shkofeloka, they wanted, they wanted, they wanted, they pressure uh, <coughs> with this kind of issues. As much as he loved the Shkofe Loka, when he came here to Novomest and Dolenska, which is on the opposite side now, he would go for a fishing trip with my father, and I was along, he had me along in, inside of the boat, and, you know, fishing, 
drugged up, but still, I had my say, no matter what. Uh, I told him, now, Vinko, you see, I told him, you see how much more beautiful is uh, Dolenska than Gorenska. And, you know, Gorenska is very beautiful, but for me, the water was always just a magnet. And he was thinking about, he was really, really pleased, but I already knew about the stuff that he didn't, he would, he hated the water. He started to hate the water. He loved the water. He loved the water. But he started to hate the water because of me. And that, that's why I say that I know that he was, his, that his hair was grown gray because of me. He, was be, he would be really like pulling his hair out. Didn't know how to help me out. It was very, very tough for him. And when this fishing was finished, um, as much as he enjoyed fishing and everything, and I could observe him that he was becoming more and more miserable inside of this boat. And when this thing was finished, uh, it was like I got a feeling that uh, he never want to go inside of the boat anymore. This is how serious he took this case. Now, why he saw me as his child in a way. The reason for that matter is that, let me demonstrate to you this. This is the center of the city here, that you see here, Shkofe Loka. Uh, that's where his wife is from, and this is the old part of the city here. It's a quite a considerable side of the city, you know, 25,000 people. Uh, like the gentleman uh, stated, with the area, surrounding area, right? Um, this here is uh, this Kidrichova Cesta, you see, this is uh, Kidrichova, and then you have this here. We're going to come here, and I'm going to zoom myself inside, go like this. And we're going to go here, here. And um, in year 1995, I can tell you uh, about Vinko, in 95. In 95, uh, Vinko was like, oh, you have to remember this. You understand this, this, this. You have to remember this. And, 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 and this. And you have to remember 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 this. Uh, and you have to remember this. Oh, do you remember that? Do you remember that? Uh, do you remember that? Do you remember that? Do you remember that? This is the way it was. Okay. Meaning that these people... They didn't have much shit idea is what I'm trying to say about MK Ultra. And this is true. I was just the child in respect to MK Ultra. I was thrown on on the picture to them. When I say the child, in a little bit you will understand. Thrown on the picture and like they say Yebiga Storiga make it happen if translated in English. Here is a little booklet to you. This kind of drugs. Uh, you're gonna use this kind of drugs, you're gonna he need to re, uh, to learn about this stuff, that stuff, and so on and so forth. And uh, here, here it is. Goodbye. I know this is a psychiatric hospital. I know these are a health professionals, but they didn't have this yet. And because they didn't have this shit yet, they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. The first one that actually the second one if not maybe even the first one that subjected herself to this and i did not have any kind of clue that she was already involved and you're talking about year 97 98 that self-exposed herself this is when she started to participate in 98 i think uh to this kind of stuff 
You know who it was? It was Mrs. Yerich, Andrea Yerich, the nurse, that would come to visit me here at home with her colleague who also was involved in MK Ultra. And then she also became a nurse here and there I would see in Ljubljana Polje. And funny enough, I was really, really miserable when I would see her. Okay? Um, it's this street. I'm, the precise stuff I'm talking about is like she would be talking to you right now. There is certain changes they have done here, right here. You would turn here like this and next to this building, you know, they wanted me to learn about some kind of, I don't know, remodelation they did in here, this and that, whatever they did. And so they could understand me, my point of view, basically the stuff that I see for the first time that anybody would go and subjected herself in himself in Slovenia or herself to, in Slovenia to MK Ultra voluntarily like a guinea pig let's say uh, it's happened when Andrea uh, for whom I have expressed tremendous interest due to her beauty really is a very beautiful woman subjected herself to MK Ultra. And there was some other younger colleague that was also fanatical about this stuff. And he went into it. He was very enthusiastic. He would also come along Andrea. He's from Celia, actually, this guy. And that's how it all started. That's when they got an idea of what it feels like to be under MK Ultra. And when I mentioned earlier to you child issues, okay, let's clear that one away. Vinko was a real magnet for the ladies. Vinko was someone that all the ladies from the psychiatric hospital, and I kind of started to learn, I wanted to know what the, his secret was, because all the beautiful ladies from the psychiatric hospital, like this one here, uh, like let's say um, this one here, all through, uh, I don't know what I told her, whatever. There were so many beautiful women involved in this stuff that this this is like, please excuse me, uh, if you have a child, and if you don't have one, that's okay, because you were a child at one point. If your mom brought you to the candy store, to the, let's say, to some bakery shop, and she told you, which candy would you like? Well, you were like really small. Would you like that one, or would you like that one? Or would you like that one? That, uh, well, you as a child, you weren't like, I want that one, and I want that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, I want all of them. They did actually this shit to me sometimes in Ukraine, this stuff, it involved, they did, and there is still this bakery shop they have, and when they saw me coming inside, they were laughing their ass off. Uh, because it was like, and the same thing was with these girls, you know, w which one? Which one? There, there's so many women in the picture. Uh, you're talking about more than thousand, probably more than thousand beautiful women that teased me during the course of MK Ultra, of which some were badly serious, wanted their relationship with me. But for the most part, they were teasing me. Well, which one do you want? Okay, uh, as a child as you are, you know, you want the most beautiful, and there are so many, and the thing about it is that as a male, a normal male when they start telling you about like bringing you from United States of America to Slovenia this is like excuse me Eastern Europe even all over the Eastern Europe and Russia and Poland and in Ukraine and in in Serbia and stuff it's like really was insane and they're telling you like to remember how this building was built, how that building was built, when this business was open, when what was added to that business when. Well, acting stupid might be like the best uh, option that you you possibly could use to escape from the picture. I mean, after all, if you drive them crazy enough, 
like completely crazy like the, the, there's like a war did you create some kind of war i'm sure they're gonna fucking let you go right because they don't want to come back on a picture with you anymore either it becomes dangerous for them to bring you back i did create this kind of element that's a good tactic but for that kind of tactic you got to have a reason man uh, if the the freedom is not a good reason enough i don't know what it is i myself was certain they were telling me that we are not sure if you're normal because you don't remember things you know if you don't you don't remember things by the way remembering is never good under mk ultra when they ask you what you remember fuck that uh don't worry about it you will remember when the time comes if you have to don't worry don't even worry about it fuck that and remember the less you're gonna remember the better you're gonna be off if you ever find yourself in my situation because that other side the Belgrade, the Moscow, when they would find out what I remember. Identically, just like Americans did, just like Pollux did, like everybody else that wanted me to remember stuff, they were using the same techniques to find out what I remember, and they injected lies in it, used the electroshocks, repeated the sessions with completely distorted stories, with idea to foremost disrupt me, our mental process to the point that the fear would uh, overwhelm me and I would simply quit alone from the case because I would go I would get like negative feedbacks from the people involved in MK Ultra. so remembering is never 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 a good thing to do better to act stupid and remember fucking nothing uh, than to remember and get completely fucked that's one thing because you don't know uh if they're not imitating this american or who the guy is talking to you in english if he really is an american or not and that they were also russians that were born in the u.s and they would engage in that kind of stuff it was also stuff like that the theory that american psychologist who was really helpful uh rex you know I took downstairs. He actually left me a pair of jeans, like a supersized pair of jeans, so that he would remind of his name, Rex. Uh, otherwise, uh, his real name, that's a Daniel Smith, just as I've explained already and demonstrated in my blog. One time he, he came in and uh, there was another psychologist from, I think he was from Oklahoma, and he was just snapping me inside of the vehicle as we were driving in the lodge he would just snap at me he would go hey you are i know i know what you're doing you are um you you work with trump you work with trump and the two of you try to drive me crazy you two drive me uh, try to drive me crazy you you try to i'm gonna kill you what you did to me and this and that okay i had my own conspiracy theory about this whole shit yeah. You're gonna tell me what I remember, what I don't remember, if I'm crazy already or I'm not crazy. Well, uh, why? Why? I didn't say this to anybody, but I said to myself, why are you bringing me to Europe? Why are you bringing me to Europe in the US and talking to me about, excuse me, fucking houses, old houses? about how you remodeled yeah fuck that Ima you, do you hear me what i'm saying remodel the fucking house remodeled do it not even build one up from the ground or i'm gonna say not even rebuild from zero up but you're fucking talking to me about remodel the fucking house and open the certain business and open other business and in in everywhere in croatia also there is a set of factories also that i know in zagreb and stuff and in in serbia and in bosnia and in in uh all over the europe in belarus and in russia and in poland and in slovenia and so on and so forth what the fuck 
I came to conclusion that you are fucking trying to drive me fucking insane. So if you're trying to fucking drive me insane, then I must adapt that kind of guerrilla option and drive absolutely everybody insane. Of course, except the beautiful women that like me. But that's exactly how the brain works. Because the central system of brain, uh, of rational thinking, becomes in a normal male a penis. You would be right now probably in shock for what I stated to you. But certainly, the cars, the watches, the beautiful females are more interesting, you have to admit, to the every normal male than walls. Not only houses, but trees and uh, asphalts and stuff like this. You got to admit that if you're normal, the woman is more interesting. Her physical beauty is more interesting. Now, go find yourself like I did with a Vinko, who knew very little about how I feel, probably. He got an idea about now how to run this MKL drill. This in Urbana Security Hospital, they got an idea how to run this whole fucking thing. They've learned what MKL is, in other words. But they still didn't know that other side. That's basically the side when you are in this kind of situation. When you know, very little, nothing did they know about what they have done to me in Belgrade in 96. In 95, actually, when they brought me straight into the nest of Chetniks who wanted me dead. Ruzhnyatovic, you know Ruzhnyatovic, Joko Ruzhnyatovic. His wife can tell a lot about me. He was involved in this MK Ultra case all the way to until his death when he was killed. He too was involved in this stuff. Ruzhnyatovic. Sheshel. Karadzic was my personal case manager. Manager. This is like from Hitler, let's say Heimlich Hitler or somebody like this who was in charge for the extermination of Jews. Something like this. He killed, uh, caused them genocide over there, all over the Bosnia against the Croats and Bosnian people and so on. You understand my point of view? No, I am not saying the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana was the one that was that knew all this stuff and they were responsible for it. But I think that even up to date, up to today, they probably didn't know why I employed those guerrilla partisan tactics. When I would do just about that kind of shit that, just as in this case was, you would literally have farmers coming in Vinko's face. A Vinko was like a good spirit, because nobody liked this place so much like Vinko. Vinko loved these people to death so much Slovenia. Vinko is also the guy that was like from, uh, like, exemplary guy, let's say, from the national, uh, I'm going to say from the national resistance front or something like that, which badge I have right there. But the shit I did was so outstanding that at one point in time you would have these people almost, they didn't know anymore what the fuck went on. Was this guy I, therefore, like really some kind of Nazi that was just going around and was just getting ready to, uh, you know, bring the Germans inside or do something like this? What the fuck went on? And having him always next to me, uh, having even uh, this, sometimes the Serbian people next to me, nobody knew anymore what the fuck went on. What is going on here? People were fucking traumatized. They were traumatized. They they did not know anymore what the hell goes on. This psychiatric like hospital, Ljubljana Polia. <laughs> they they gained completely another reputation. It, if that one was bad in Yugoslavia, this one in New Slovenian state did not look good at all. Maybe this one looked even crazier. Uh, and so it did happen to him that one time. Uh, Vic would come to me, and I was, it was, it really was, it, it was, it was this farmer that was pissed off in these minutes. He was right where the girl is, where that girl is. 
he was like his head was like like this it was like this like he was gonna explode that he was really gonna do something to him to Vinko uh, Vinko faced another peasant's revolt um, he was death threatened and stuff like that and then he would come to me and and his head was also like this you know uh, whatever and then he would go to this heels and tick, 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 go back and forth in these heels. And in the evening he would come and uh, I guess it, it would be okay, you know? I, and this was not the isolated bad trip for him. Sometimes this is the way it was. And as much as he was so worried about me and always was taking me next to him, he, he, he was losing sanity in those heels, <laughs> having me with him because whenever he would take me I was surely enough try to cook some shit somewhere along the road the only interest to me was some good looking lady and that was even worse because the thing about it is that those ladies keep in mind oftentimes most often like in like I estimate probably about 70% of the time they tease me they already either had their boyfriends or husbands and they would come on a picture and tease me. Now, when I realized that every time, that added actually fuel to me. That actually gave me extra fuel. And I was like, wow, okay, you got me again. In the final stages of Ryan Kiyotra, that's when I became really obnoxious. That's when I would get into the picture. And if it was not like almost like everything according to me, uh, I would already start to give the... Um, compliments uh, like in a in a big minus like in a really negative sense just to everybody i would just go i, I wouldn't care about anything oh we're gonna kill you this and that like this next one uh the death threats who cares about that the death threats they were always they death threatened it was always a death threat after death threat after death threat death threat but in serbia that was that was psychotic that was different that one i didn't even want to go into it no more uh it was bad here already in slovenia uh but down there that that was just something that did not make sense man they would take you literally to not too far from here not too far from here Kirka pharmaceutical company they have a castle here called struga that's basically where we met and they had like behind the castle they have like a place where they would go they would grow uh vegetables this uh, original castle owner whoever this was this this guy um it was cement built whatever this thing and it looked like graves and stuff like that it would be in the forest, but that's where we're going to kill you. And here also, that's where we're going to kill you. Underneath of this castle, they have um, like bars with iron, gated bars, windows and stuff like this. They would get me inside in there in that old castle. That's where they, we're going to kill you. And nobody will ever find out and shit like that. It was plenty of the stuff like this. It was just maybe one location, maybe, I don't know, uh, six kilometer from here and another one here, maybe only three kilometer and two kilometer from here and this. It was shit like this that would go everywhere all the time. It would go like this all the time. And so we're going to kill you. It was like, uh, all the time, kill you, 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 kill you. We're gonna kill you, kill you, kill you. Okay, let's go back to this kind of stuff. I just wanted to, you to understand what exactly I meant, uh, which I have not finished completely yet, about the child. Vinko, the magnet for these beautiful ladies that you see here. was a magnet because he was so friendly not because 
he would be something I was, I had in my head. Nothing like this. Nothing like this. Nothing like this. I was really interested also in her at one point in time. And she was interested in me. And then she wasn't sure anymore. She did a really smart thing that was basically to step aside. Um, this one here, I just didn't like. It didn't appeal to me, but would not understand. And so on and so forth. All of this psychiatrist in Ljubljana Polje, all of them, for the most part, almost all of them were involved in this case. This man was involved in it, just like this lady here. He didn't know anymore what the hell he was dealing with. Smart enough, he would step aside, basically almost kind of a run away and watch from the side before something really bad could even happen to him. His name is Rok Talcher. And also made sure that I would say something really stupid to him, which I did, I think, I don't know what the hell I did, what, where I sent him, whatever. Uh, but at that time and point, I lost another ally, whatever. Uh, smart thing for him, because I was, I was a wreck. If you were really smart, uh, you would just not want to uh, be around me because this stuff was becoming so political that uh, God help you, all right? Um, these are just some of the people that you see here were involved in this stuff here. This here, this lady here, She opened her own uh, clinic for psychiatry, whatever, consultations and stuff like this in Ljubljana. She was involved from the stage one of this case. All this stuff happened because of Mr. Vinko. Mr. Vinko was like a magnet. Going through what these people have gone through, seeing what I have seen, especially here in Shkofia Loka with my own eyes, basically seeing how these people after work, they would come and oftentimes participate in this. Uh, you know, socialize with me, uh, with Vinko next, and I was next to them and stuff like this. And Vinko was just trying to get them to help me out, to help this guy out, to help this guy out. That, that of course, they are make things completely impossible. And to the point where it, it, it didn't matter how much you loved me, uh, if you would be willing to help me out, you would eventually risk your head. It, it, it was like this. It, it, it one, one, at one point, Mr. Vinko told me, listen, he said, from this point on, I, I will say nothing anymore. I will say nothing anymore. Um, I am just going to step aside and watch and do like this. Because you know, it was like this. I have to say, I have to tell exactly the way things were. He explained to me that this type of work, and I explained to you that this type of work requires a trust with one another. And that's why a man is a child. It requires an astronomical amount of trust. If I ask you a question based on what you have heard from me, would you go voluntarily and subject yourself to MK Ultra practice so that they would get experience of what it is like and you will get an experience about what it is like? When you know now that it's the kind of stuff that can happen to you, that it's unimaginable. Uh, that anything can happen to you. You can get raped, you can find yourself in another side of the world, you can you can find yourself in a basement somewhere, a death threatened. Uh, you can, or you can have actually a beautiful experience. You have no idea what can happen to you. Would you go and do this? Well, exactly. To work in a profession, in a health profession field, as a psychiatrist, as a psychologist, as a, somebody as a highly qualified nurse or something like this, you have to accomplish that degree of trust from your colleagues because you are 
the only one in when it when it come, you are part of this element that they count on literally with their own lives. They they place their lives basically in your hands. This is the type of profession. I hope I did explain well. We are talking about. Okay, now I did, and I think I did explain this really well. Let's go and let me demonstrate to you what Vinko uh, somehow managed to bait in my head, okay? Ah, she, she opened this here. This, is, this was like her, I think, like a second house. Yeah, she had some other house and then she bought this house. It was something like this. Sometimes I think that she started with this thing here, like in 2001. That's her name here. Uh, something like that, I think, like in 2000. And she disappeared off the picture completely, like, this like a private uh, stuff that she opened. She disappeared from the picture, like, completely sometimes in... <sighs> Ah, Vinko told me that you're not going to see her anymore. You're not going to see her anymore. He said this to me right here. I think in Shkofia Loka. You're not going to see her anymore. He, he probably said sometimes. Uh, really early, like in 2002, something like this. 2002, 2003. And he told me that she started with this stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. If you would ask me questions about her homes and stuff like that, uh, you better believe it. Uh, all kinds of stuff would come to memory, basically. So this is what this is. No. Okay, talking about the psychiatrists, I'm just going to put it this way. Uh, you, you see this girl here, lady, okay, excuse me. Uh, most of these people here, many of which are not even listed here, uh, participated in this stuff. Uh, what's really, really interesting and what I was eventually even impressed with, this is Dr. Schwab from Novo Mesto. She was also back and forth. Uh, sometimes she worked here, sometimes in Dublin. I don't know what the deal was. One of the first psychiatrists along Tsveta Gradisher, uh, Zoran Muja, and um the other psychiatrist uh, a cops from novel master too uh, she participated in mk Ocha. this one here was very important this one actually have fallen for me and i am going to be completely honest that uh if it was not for the circumstances like this you know, this is why you ladies you should never ever fall for this kind of stuff you know, you should never ever fall for any sort of Ljubljana Polia. This is the man who, however, was not the, the first one. He was not the first one. But he became director of the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Polia through this case. He got his stuff in Britain going for him because of this case. They opened uh, stuff for him. So that if he would ever have to come up, he would have some like international recognized background and stuff like that. Uh, and so that's how he went to Britain to study. And I already did spoke to him. Thanks to him, I did manage to identify another location in Ljubljana, you know. And regardless of how much these people loved you, they couldn't help you. This was uh, such a dangerous situation. This situation became so dangerous for them alone. Uh, by the way, this place here, this was one of the few places that publicly would still somehow um, tolerate me. This is where Donald Trump would come already in 95. We would stay here. Uh, and he would keep coming back here yeah, because this was a positive atmosphere he said it's always cool here this place is always like cool if it's a hot summer day uh, just here in this place when you just being outside it's always nice and cool and it's probably because of the air conditioning alike stream 
a little rivulet that goes along this road here. Um, he tolerated me not because probably he would like me, uh, but because just because of the atmosphere alone. Uh, he knew very well that to get uh, people with the money, with the deep pockets inside in here, uh, he just needed to be like kind of a slick about it nice with me the truth however is um this is the house that didn't like me very much uh a little forward there is another one that really threatened with all kinds of stuff and i'm not taking this stuff personally i'm really not taking personally and then you have here another barrage of house that, that they would just bring me and shame me whatever and across here there's another house somewhere here like this that it was like well i could almost when i was here at this restaurant i could almost hear this guy yelling screaming and threatening to me and stuff like that this is the way it was you know he just knew that he had to be nice kind so that these people uh they would still you know I'm gonna pass and on my way back I'm gonna stop here and give a background about that stuff because I'm hurrying with another issue uh, related to psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia uh, entire hospital he just knew that he had to be really nice so that I would have this good vibes about this place going and that would not prevent other guests with the deep pockets from coming back here because yeah i was like this that i would not and they would listen to me what well, if i would say that i don't like certain place we wouldn't be back there no more and they would drive me in mercedes in the back seat i was the one who seated next to trump next to people like this uh, which did me really really nothing good a lot of problems yes it left me with the biggest bill ever a human faced this was the first house that i would stay in this house right here this house here now it looks new to you doesn't it doesn't it look like it was built maybe if you go here if you see this house is here does look like new doesn't it That house looks like the most modern house. This is not the truth. This is old house. And it could be very, very well that this house here is related, I'm going to say, either directly, it could be maybe, I don't know, maybe even son-in-law, maybe something like this, to one of these health professionals that Mr. Vinko managed to somehow get on the picture. This it was so nice that many of these ladies would come on a walks with him and um it was just a guy that that was like your friend that you could just go and trust your problems and he would help you out no matter he just wanted to help everybody out this was his life was the family he had uh i felt just by creating this video i, I learned tremendously a lot about this psychiatric hospital to be on a party, you know okay this the only thing that happened to this house here uh the owners might eventually even be from croatia not serbian but from croatia the husband uh the husband i think that married a slovenian girl something in that sense um i am not sure but he said to me because i was not nice uh i was not nice he said to me you are never ever gonna make it through here he purchased this house sometimes i think like in 2004 something like that maybe 2003 something like this you will never ever figure out you he said to me do you understand when you're gonna come here you are never ever this you're gonna think it's a new house you understand <sighs> when i came here really the roof is no that kind of stuff he did outstanding job the house itself looked like one of completely different models of all those houses but 
I did recall to remind myself that this garage is what was added. And on top of this garage, uh, let me see something here. This balcony here with this glass thing here also was added. Uh, it was painted in a different color. That's another thing. Uh, and you see, it's all painted white. This uh, so beautiful with the new windows, uh, with the new doors installed, uh, more modern looking, you know. Uh, therefore, uh, I'm going to say really, really well, well, well renovated. And with this balcony, oh, this is a funny thing. No, it's not added. It's nothing. It's original, just as it always was. Um, it's just like really, really outstanding job that would really make an impression to you as this, uh, you know, sort of new here. Now, a psychiatrist figure out this is what the problem was. They knew that I'm not crazy. That this is actually the most beautiful location, this one here in this entire, all the, next to all the settlements in this whole area. This was the location I too loved the most. Because this house goes right along the stream. There is a little river stream that goes by here. And it's like really magical when you go inside of this forest and you go and you start the walk and you start the walk in such a beautiful, beautiful kind of magical place. This was the street where we would stay here first. This houses did go through some remodelations and stuff like this. Uh, but make no mistake, these are all old houses. Nothing here, it's original just the way it was. Nothing much goes on. They did try to confuse me big time. Uh, and even the problem is here to the certain degree that it cannot be disregarded. There was a new housing they started to develop. There was a new housing they started to develop. Solid 100 was blowing. And equivalent to that, I feel too, like this. Not good. Uh, and so that's a radiation meter. This here, this is a new house that you see here. This is the house that came to life. This is not remodeled or anything like this. Uh, this is a completely new house they built here. I cannot go here. I cannot go. Uh, it does not allow me to go up there and see it from up close, but I think that's actually really a new house. And uh, a new house, when I say a new house, this house, uh, I can recall that this house already came on a picture. If I would go into this stuff, Yeah, I would say like 2003, um, even earlier, you know, like 2002, something like this, this house uh, became, came on a picture, you know, like 2003, I'm going to give one, something like that. Way earlier than this was this here, this here, this was, uh, and that was like an old house here, and uh, I am not sure whether they completely, completely rebuilt and remodeled this house uh, or they just erected totally new structure instead of this old one. But that one was like the first one that would be already sometimes when you would uh, turn the clock, it would probably show the year um, 
I probably I would say probably year the clock would turn back even to the year like 2000 when it comes to this this was like one of the first yeah so I'm gonna give that one like 2000 right there boom boom <sighs> I never forgot about this girl, and I never will forget about this girl. Alright, let's see what exactly do I remember. Uh, if I was gonna go in here in these streets, I can do a total MKO tron. What was built, when, this and that. You don't escape nothing to me. You don't escape, nothing escapes to me. This is the house I was talking to you about. There is no escape from me. This here, this, it looks like new construction or something like this. Hell no. This goes back just as you see it right now. Man, this goes back to, you know what? This goes back to your to the year 2000 or maybe even 1999 this is how far this thing goes back this is how far this thing goes back it's just the way it was it's still in the shape as it was spider spider even left here to remind me of it spider in a way symbolizes the ability to recall events because this is the way it works you open like this it's not the way I su I should have been doing this kind of stuff but you open like this one window and it's another one that opens and then another one and another one and closer the more of these windows that you open um the closer you are to the truth it's like you would assemble pieces of uh some kind of structure that you would call truth and that would then lead you systematically if you are capable to overcome not only fears but all sorts of anxieties they create because so much threat that I received under MK Ultra, this is where we you would go to a location as I uh, explained a little earlier, or this way you would continue. Now, this I did demonstrate it to you earlier, and all this here that you see here, all this stuff here I walked back and forth back and forth back and forth with mr vinko until he would really really get tired of me dragging me around because of of course because the problems i uh, got him into There is something here, but I am not sure. Supposed to be maybe. Ah, it's no. I will try to pull something else here. So I can pull something more here. Uh, quite funny, huh? That you would, in this remote places here, that you would go like this and that you could do stuff like this it's quite a deal oh this is the home that was like really really beautiful beautiful people here this I like it very much the people here that they would not live 
to a city they would not abandon their land their homes of their parents no matter what they they said to me oh this is just so beautiful here we cannot go from here no matter what uh, this young couple i remember the man he insisted and he rebuilt the old house uh, I, I told him why don't you just go away from here man uh, economically you will never make it with this is gonna be he told me how expensive it is because you have to it, it's very costly to transport the material here even he bragged about that kind of stuff but they got him a job and the first house he eventually he uh, he remodeled upgraded uh was the house of his parents and he did a really beautiful job and at my surprise he completed this already sometimes really at my surprise so like sometimes like in 2002 something like this i was quite wow surprised that uh you know these people are so hard working i mean you got to admire them and uh, it looks like that he i don't know he opened his own business or something like this uh, life was good to him next to that one he built a brand new home when the hell was this home built I don't know probably in 2008 or something like that this is not really appearing in my MK Ultra memory as something early or something 2006 2008 something like this uh, this was not completed so early so that's that basically let's get out of this mountain here now, I took you quite up here I mean in this case uh, let's see this stuff here that I demonstrate to you I took you to this hills here right now I took you all the way up here um, it's I think this one here he got uh, a tourist uh, place now so you see I took you all over the hills away from let me see this yeah eventually that I did yeah this is the place yeah you got to admit this is really really beautiful this is really beautiful we would come here why we would come here to this place because there's a road here behind it you go like this you go past this house and you continue on a road like this and it goes on that's why kind of strange right you would really think it's like the end of it no it's not you go you go you go on like just like that just like this you go Maybe I should. Maybe I should just continue this way. Well, you got to admit if somebody brings you from the United States of America and you find yourself doing this kind of stuff, that you too would think that person is trying to drive you insane. Uh, imagine that you are 23, 24, 25 years old and you have the people from psychiatric hospital involved in it um and it's death threats and you can't all kinds of stuff involving this stuff uh, admit admit that regardless of how normal that the only way if you were normal uh it would be basically for you to come to conclusion that they are trying to drive you crazy that they are trying to destroy you admit if you would say to me right now no they tried to help me out i would say that you my friend whoever would say that i would say that you are mentally ill i would absolutely acknowledge you as a mentally ill if you would say to me this is this is the road that goes to somewhere else which also i have a friends here also I can't go in there. It wouldn't allow me. The Google would not allow me. 
there is a farm over there too. Okay, uh, here there is not much more to see. This is going to bring me out and uh, yeah, but this is how far I took you right now. If you look at this stuff, all this stuff I walked back and forth. Yes, indeed. This is all the stuff I know. This is where we went inside and this is where we ended and there is much more that I did not uh, talk to you about. Now, let's go to year 95. In 95, this intersection that you see here, this Ronda here that you see here, right? Did not look like this. This, this, this looked like this. It looked like that. It did not even look like that because even this one here was improved, you know? Even this here, it did not look like this. It was just, you would just get that like an asphalt road like this. Let me demonstrate to you. This is an old asphalt here. It would be just like this, wide like this. That's all it was, like this. And this would just be, it, it would just be like this, the road. And that's it. You turn either right or left and that's it. Yeah. That's exactly that Ronda looked like in a 1990-95. Now this is this uh, Zminets, they call it Zminets, like that. This is basically what this is like. Uh, there was nothing going on, just like uh, everywhere else, like in Croatia or Bosnia or uh, in Serbia or in uh, Belarus or in Russia or in uh, Ukraine or in, I don't know, in Germany or in Britain or whatever the hell I was, I had a group of kids, you know, a group of my own age boys that were like 24, 25 and eager to work, you know, rookies. They started the life and looking for this employment opportunities waking up early and running and taking me to to the locations where i was told to appear at a certain time uh and i would uh, run with them hopefully for them that would be like a lifetime school what can be done to the human if it's drugged up in that sense but this here this which you cannot see anymore look it's all finished grass is everywhere here still remain here look see this this for us this was like an autobahn. We would not go in this asphalt roads and stuff like that. No, we had other plans. And uh, when I mentioned this to Vinko, what do you remember? He said, what do you remember from this place? Now you will tell me what you remember. And I started with this kind of uh, shortcuts like that. He, I felt like he's going to choke me. When I pointed out in what you see here still, that would take you right across here because it's a village here behind between these houses you go and you are inside of the village he wanted to choke me the trees they were half the size that you see now you're talking about 26 years ago you know 25 years ago 24 years ago 24 years ago the first thing that happened in 98 this here which started with a mistake because of this here in 95 this became a big deal we would walk through here toward what i will demonstrate for what eventually they hoped for it would turn into um the business center like commercial like industrial area which would offer this local people for whom they were very concerned Unemployment, a source of income, basically. A connection with the outside world. And so this led into a mistake, this one here. Abandoned, or with a thought that something like this would eventually open for the locals in the future sometimes. They continued, they proceed, with created a rondo that looked like this after something like this already happened in the city of the Novo Mesto, 
and also in some other Ljubljana and stuff like that. So they told me it's gonna look like this, but initially this was not exactly the idea, like that. So, a little adjustment. What exactly took us through this already now completely forgotten road, side road that I demonstrated you in this direction. We would go in the mornings in 95 right here where the corn is right across boom boom on a foot with americans is this industrial zona in this 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 uh, little place they hoped for they would start what you see here this here um I'm going to be really precise about this kind of stuff. Two thousand and one. Very late. Two thousand and I don't know, 2004, 2005, something like this, later stage, later stage. But this here, this was something that appeared sometimes, and it was interesting to them. This is not really the stuff I would be looking forward to, to orient myself, because of all other data I still have. We will be heading this way, and this is this industrial zona, a place where things will start to happen. Uh, the first company they hoped, which faced transition from the public sector into the private sector in 95-96, was scheduled. Um, I think it did happen, but it did not go well for the company. What exactly they started to produce inside in there, I do not know. Germans, however, knew about absolutely everything that went on around here. And so Angela Merkel alone updated me with the situation here that they are not doing well at all. Sometimes, however, in 2000, these people are facing a real trouble total collapse another one after the state even in private hands things did not go well Germans offered these people either some kind of license market they created some kind of pact and ever since this baby took off like insane they produce glass wool in case you wonder what that would be that would be like insulation material for the housing that kind of stuff unfortunately it's really bad for the nature it brings a lot of pollution into the local stream i didn't like that a little bit not even a bit but it does provide locals with some sort of employment and their company it could be Ljubljana. Okay, this is this thing here. This is Ljubljana. Ljubljana have over half a million people. There's a lot of cars, there's a lot of traffic. Especially here when you go toward Kran here. This is a lot of traffic here. And here I was heading from Skofia Loka with a truck like this in 2006 after undergoing a really really deep mk ultra with this individual uh the daughter his daughter was really beautiful i like it she was really beautiful um i would be quite interested but not under this kind of circumstances definitely not i was dispatched to this stegna 
This is industrial zona, industrial location. Industriska zona stegna, industrial zone stegna, where you would have uh, all sorts of companies inside based. An individual who was interested in the daughter from this Habian transport, from the house, therefore, I have demonstrated you. Again, located in the center of this Zminets here. The local guy became interested in her and this guy became a dispatcher in working for this company. He already was a truck driver and stuff like this, then he became a dispatcher and stuff like that, whatever the case was. Two guys that participated in MK Ultra from, and many other guys too. It was also guys from other republics, from Bosnia and so on, that this guy would give job to. They all participated in MK Ultra. All these guys I remember from MK Ultra. <laughs> uh, we can go quite far when it comes to MK Ultra. When it pertains to this company. They played a little bit too much. This guy promised me he would take me. He took me. They took me as a retaliation for whatever issues these people have had straight to this Stegna industrial zone now I'm gonna click in and zoom inside of one that's basically what this looks like and they would I would drive with a truck driver drugged up and apparently that he would be looking for a location therefore brought from United States of America drugged up brought straight here into this place and it would be all about the location all about the location that did not exist anywhere in the GPS anywhere on the telephone anywhere absolutely anywhere anywhere at all look going back and forth in all these businesses from door to door from door to door asking about the address where I should deliver the stuff with what you see here for probably even two hours dispatcher would not answer would not give me a clear instructions on where to deliver drop off I eventually found myself in a problem and have in one of the companies stroke a fence uh, not very much not to the point that I would have to change the fence or anything like this but eventually I had to pay out of my own pocket due to complete stupidity, due, due to completely idiotic issues from this dispatcher. I had to recompensate the company for destroyed, as I'm about to demonstrate here, I just have to find that company. In Slovenian language we say stabber. Okay, I did put on pause so that I could find properly this thing here. This is the proper location. But this is all this sauna. This is like, I don't know, thousand businesses. And this address they gave me nowhere existed in the system. Nowhere on a GPS. Nowhere where you would call the instructions for the state. Uh, if you would call the instructions from 
uh, at, at, through the telephone that, so that you would get instruction and nowhere would you find the instructions. And so I did wander into straight into the street here. Situation got even more fucked up because the people from the Stagne from this commercial industrial center, from all these companies participated in MK Ultra. Such was the case also with the owner of this company, where the accident occurred, and I am pretty sure that this here was where I had to replace this pillar of the fence, like that, the original pillar. Uh, this is not a joke. This is not a joke because I had to literally cement, you don't understand cement put the pillar inside and connect one with a fence i had to do this myself or i would pay out of my own pocket to someone that would go and repair this stuff this costed me around 150 euros the owner of this company that you see here I am not sure, but I think he was from Serbia, but I'm not sure. He was a very, very nice person, a father. He was a very, very nice person. Uh, he welcomed me and he was a very nice person. I don't have absolutely nothing against him. I don't think he even anticipated this shit is going to happen uh, exactly to him. But they did count it on my getting myself screwed up, literally, uh, while driving back and forth, looking for this address, asking people. At least two hours I did that day. Uh, I did go inside here, then I did go reversed with a beast like this. Had two traders. And I did crash this uh, pillar. And as a result, I had to go from Novo Mesto. Remember, in 2006, this is the way it was. This is the kind of stuff they were playing with. I had to go from the city of the Novo Mesto. It wasn't enough now anymore that I drove for free. I did not even get for the fuel costs from Novo Mesto to the Skofia Loka. I got nothing. It's a quite a drive, you know. Now I had to go home to Novo Mesto, jobless, without anything, and with my own money to Kran, to this place here. This is even further up in Gorenska near Austria. To buy a special pillar and deliver this pillar to this place here. My father went, who was who went with me to this place. And I would spend the whole day, some Saturday or something, repairing this place. Uh, I fixed the place. I handshake with the owner of the company, the Serbian owner, this father. Um, I think he felt bad for me. He said the people liked me, you know, it's not that, that I would be... Um, they liked me. Uh, uh, the political shit was so bad that uh, it's just, I think a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people liked me, even Serbian people, they liked me, but the thing about it is that this, this shit, these politicians did, this was just the stuff that if I suspect even that sometimes they would have some kind of people like this that everybody was afraid of, and if those people would participate, especially the people that knew about my case, they would act deliberately aggressively. So that's why I'm not taking anything against people or Shkofi Loka, those that were yelling and raising voices and stuff like this, that's okay, because I think that they acted. I don't think that they did this because they had to, whatever, uh, because they would want to, but because they had to. This shit here ruined one day, 
left me with a 150 euro bill and after three weeks of work because of this shit here that happened I did told the owner that I am unwilling to proceed with uh, further employment with him uh, for all the trips I have made to Skofia Loka uh, for the travel expenses and for the work I have performed I have never received ever not even a single dime from this individual here not one fucking dime nothing economically that did go over 1000 euros but psychologically that eventually uh, the guy that I purchased this pillar from from Kran this guy uh, the way they did this shit I don't know how they knew it that I'm gonna get myself literally into the accident with this shit with with this truck they literally expected me to come to pick up this pillar literally not because it would be a company that I would have to identify all these companies in Kran they were involved in it we would go the economy mission they would go into the Kran they have a factories here they would keep me in Kran as much as possible so they would bring the companies here but the thing about it is they totally procalculated and they totally knew they totally knew exactly where am I gonna go and purchase the part so that I could go and on my free time compensate for the damage uh, that I caused now if this isn't fucking insane then I don't know what it is the psychological impact that this individual had on this case uh, was so damaging that psychologically that it would be even hard to explain the state employment office Slovenian never assisted me the Slovenian state employment office in Novom Mesto prohibited me from using any state services anything they prohibited it from coming anywhere near in fact they dispatched police after me after the police even lost a case against me on a court uh, on in a novel mist on the police station the police alone lost case against me because in 2007 assassination attempt took place the neighbor changed the tires a brand new tires I have purchased he have stolen them and put old worn out tires on the car on a brand new car I brought from the US and I almost fucking killed myself not too far in vicinity of Trebe this is the way this shit operated upon my return from the United States of America so just so that you're gonna know what exactly MK Ultra is how the hell that works uh, what if not I'm gonna tell you in Poland this crime have gone as far as crippling me through immigration procedure through something they have anticipated they would use against me through starvation really through starvation compelled into one employment chosen employment either you're gonna do this or you're gonna be on the street or whatever you're either gonna break your spine or otherwise simple as this uh, so this is how far MK Ultra went in respect to employment it was not only used to disallow me to obtain employment like in the United States of America it was always the chosen employment and forced unemployment was used for me to exhaust all the savings because also the state office did not give me any kind of financial support during unemployment over 30,000 submissions job applications went to hell on two continents between 2006 2010 which I submitted 
with attempt to obtain a self employment. It wasn't about only political asylums I filed across the Europe. Anywhere in Canada, uh, in Northern US, uh, in Northern America, uh, in Germany, in Europe, uh, Belgium, Sweden, Norway, Ukraine, Belarus, um, Hungary. No, 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 it wasn't only about this stuff. It wasn't even about the forced unemployment anymore. It was about using employment to completely demand that basically disturb, disrupt mental process with the shit they have attempted to use through the force, through the forced circumstances to get me into. On a workplace where they would torture, where they would do all kinds of stuff, compel you inside and despite all odds I resulted even in breaking yourself a spine through the injury through the such a criminal illegal practices that like in any fucking workbook that you would demand from somebody to for 12 hours to lift boxes that would lift weight like 25 kilos uh, every fucking day after day until you break your spine this is nowhere in the fucking world they would do this kind of stuff you know, the Poland actually accomplished that. The employer in a Poland, whom I'm going to go also next to to submit more proofs about it, who was involved in MK Ultra, with idea to cripple me literally, uh, also had what I did not mention. In a fork lifters, fork lifters were operated through the Bluetooths. And so they would play. You would go on a, on a, on a fork lifter, and the forklifter all of a sudden would stall. Like at full speed you would be working, you would be doing your stuff, you would be driving, and all of a sudden it would just go one, and it would stop. And that's because they were telling me that's going to be used. So they, they told me, we guarantee you that one time you're going to fell off the forklifter. This is the kind of shift, shit I had to play with in Poland. This was actually video recorded. They had a cameras inside of this fucking factory and somebody I guess they entertained certain folks with this kind of hunger games this was in Poland in respect to Donald Trump uh, I'm gonna go there was a whole set of people I recognized the Ukrainian people and so on and I'm gonna play that kind of stuff too this is gonna be coming in a following uh, video recordings but the next video you're going to see me, I'm going to go to, it's going to take me straight back to the city of the Novo Mesto, where I am from. You know, therefore, back to this side of the country, Slovenia, little country, where Melania Knaus, Trump now, is from. And I will concentrate into the project, this one here. Podietniški inkubator pod Breznik. You know, it's basically something like this here. Which already this. So, they already have orchestrated for the novel Mesto how I'm going to try to self employ myself in literature. Uh, this project financed mostly by the European Union pays for about 70% of the expenditure of the costs per potential self-employed uh, individual that would self-employ himself. Uh, Slovenian state only 30%. They already created on how I'm gonna waste time coming here uh, talking back and forth uh, Knowing basically the people, the building that you see, an individual alone involving this stuff, what they are going to do to me, thanks to them, I have eventually managed to even record upon successfully recognizing them, identifying them yet another location right here in Novo Mesto, which Slovenian state attempted to use to screw me up more basically to leave me more outside on the rain and I would not even say that this is only with the Slovenian state that it's got to do 
has got to do also with the European Union, with everybody, because the idea uh, these people had, and I don't like to go after the European Union, because foremost, this is Slovenia, there is no need also for me to blame European Union. Uh, stuff that I have learned about Moscow and Belgrade, no way am I going to go and point into the European Union. I give up on that stuff. It's clear who is behind it all, why. Uh, but the grandeur idea about this was again to screw me up and probably even use because the funds are from the European Union for me to point into the European Union. Waste of time. Uh, but really thanks to the people, especially to the lady that is running this project and her husband, whom I have met already in 1995, if not in 96, in Ljubljana. <laughs> in Ljubljana, in another location, not in Stegne. Uh, there is another... location in Ljubljana he started as a forklifter literally and thanks to this case he completely uh, excelled and uh, accomplished a lot became like kind of director something like that it was really good for him i think that's in the streets katsona which that he used to be and in particular he might have even worked inside of this w one of the warehouses he was in a big ass warehouse whatever the hell it was it might have been what you see today is maybe even euroton or something like that right in this area here it was like a big ass warehouse like this and he would be work he started like a forklifter and so on uh and then he would just climb his ladder up 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 not only the daughter from the couple you have heard me talking to who came from Skofia loka and met the local boy here from rates from novo mesto and as a consequently they tied uh, you know hopefully it's gonna be a beautiful marriage is gonna grow out of it but also this lady that is running the project who was also he I think she really was interested in me oh she is good looking too uh, but the guy also is a very good looking guy and he's a really really great guy I like him all around um, they too tied knot and they got married and have kids and thanks god she did this because my case this kind of a case if i go back to this kind of stuff <laughs> i am sorry ladies if i ever heard uh, some of you if i if i did hurt you this really really was something else this was a really really completely different stuff uh staying on the side like one of this not she but another one that i had earlier have stated me she would do and observe because she's no longer even sure about what goes on sometimes i like her sometimes i didn't it all depended it depends how crazy i felt for the day um really is the best thing to do when you have the political stuff like this is 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 so it becomes so dangerous that you can get yourself in trouble before you even know all right so it's okay now but back then it was better to just like one of them said watch from the distance thanks to the participants inside of this building not only to her i did manage already to collect enough proofs to prove the point that not only in poland but also in slovenia and it was also elsewhere uh the state anticipated to destroy me literally through mk ultra at employment locations basically so this is as cruel as it gets no 
This isn't about only keeping somebody away from employment. Blacklisting one, blocking him from employment so you can use the psychiatry against one and destroy him. But actually even using MKUltra to destroy individual psychologically as well as physically. Uh, now, nobody ever managed to accomplish something like this but I did and so that you can you the world the people can understand that MK Ultra is by far the biggest crime it's a disease in which a victim is seen like an animal like uh, less than a subhuman being by those who grant themselves access to his body to his soul when one is drugged up and also observe one like an animal, like less than a human being. See him in their illusions as somebody unworthy, somebody that anything, just anything can be done with. And somebody that must be destroyed at all the cost with the use of violence. Uh, so this is basically what MKUltra is. And I can say, I, I have to say I accomplished more than what I possibly could. This is going to be the audio I will present to you as next. And we'll use these proofs for what I stated. It resulted in no less than 26 years of forced unemployment, of me being blacklisted, completely jobless, and receiving no less than 3,000 maybe 2,000 euros of support from Slovenian state within the last actually since 2006 then you go and count this is 15 years I received from Slovenian state 3,000 no 2,000 euros if I did and probably I did not even 2,000 prohibited from coming at the state office to search for the work stuff like that huh? Not even Joseph Stalin dreamed about what Alexander Vucic, Serbian, Chetnik, criminal, what Vladimir Putin, this is the Russian gangster, president of the Russian state, have accomplished through United States of America, through the Donald Trump to the president of United States of America. Not even they dreamed, not even he dreamed something like this could have been possible to accomplish so my congratulations to Alexander Vucic my congratulations to Alexander uh, to the Vladimir Putin and you my dear friends European Union citizens and American citizens ask yourself what the fuck is this what kind of world have you allowed one have become Hold on. Ah, što mene bo ugrizno? Jo, je mu se ugrizno. Ne, 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 Yeah, <laughs> 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 Ja, 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 ja,
Otra no otra. Tu